Good evening everybody and the warm welcome to Beringer <laughs> and I have a layout update for you and some further <laughs> progress um, in Morewood to tell you about and um, a lot of the progress to do with, with uh, Morewood has been a lot to do with testing as well as some improvements. Um, one of the one of my locos, this 50, um, Centurion, and also um, Sir Edward Elgar um, is also been used as testing, and also my Diddy. Well, I say my Diddy 60, but it is it's my my big 60. Um, and these are my bigger locos in the fleet, um, and they've all been used to sort of been testing um, more wood and the clearances and things like that um, just to make sure that there's no further issues I did have a couple of issues with the 60 and and with the 50s just um, a bit of buffer scraping along the, the the platforms as it went round the corners of the clearances was a bit too tight but I've since resolved that so that's all now done so without further ado I'll take you down towards more wood um, so here we are at the tunnel section. So before we go to Morewood, we'll go to the tunnel section. So I've done some work here, and I thought I'd just sort of show it to you in the terms of before, because usually the race section would be up here, and it's kind of getting away a little bit. So I just thought I'd show it to you before I'd have the race section put up. I mean, because this is what I've been working on. Um, I haven't made the, the road over bridge, but that will be here to cover the two hinges. So that will go up and over, and that will conceal the two hinges. Um, but what I have been doing is just, just a touch more detail. Um, as you can see, um, we have some telegraph poles. Uh, we've had some more. Um, before, you may remember, it was just plain grass under here. So I've just done a bit more layering um, just along here. I've got to be a bit careful because I'm going to knock into these poles otherwise. So I've just done a, um, some more layering, roughing it all up a bit more. Added another telegraph pole. In fact, I might actually repaint them in the brown. And then we have the lighting in the tunnel, which will lead towards the other end and towards the fill yard, which um, I've been seriously thinking about um, in terms of starting to deal with that um, to create the fill yard. So that's what it looks like. So like I said, we've done a bit of work along here. So it looks all nice and nice and rough. It's starting to get there. Um, I'm going to be adding some more detailing, like signage and stuff like that. So that will all come relatively soon. So here at the, end, at the far end of Morewood Station, leading to the tunnel section, which you can see down there. And as you can see, um, we've done a bit more layering in terms of foliage and stuff. Um, we've also done a bit more along here. The ballasting is all done along here, um, which is what we've done. We've also um, done the platform edging and also a bit of foliage and things along here um, this platform here has been causing me some concern not really concern as such but I was actually thinking whether to put another canopy along here um, but I was a bit concerned that when it was when the lift lifting section was, was basically retracted and lowered that the height of the actual canopy would actually get knocked through just general walking into the kitchen and back out so I'm still contemplating whether to add the canopy um, to it, I'm not sure. Um, it's more than likely just for the safety purposes instead of me knocking it. I like the idea of doing a canopy and I'm still oohing and ahhing over it. Um, but I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to do that or not. Um, over here, as you can probably see, um, I did say to you that I have um, a lift section. Um, and that actually means it's actually a lift. And that's where I've put it in and that's basically that little bit of that support that's holding the roof basically um, I've just clad it and covered it and that's, that's got that little lift there so people can get down to the near side platform platform 4 um, over, over at the end I've got some railings over there uh, where the brute trolleys are um, and that's just to basically um, just have somewhere to store them as you do see at some of the stations so I haven't quite um, done the um, the edging along here just yet um, that's on the to-do list of things but we're getting there um, a lot of the work on the other side um, I'm not exactly sure what I've shown you to be truthful with you um, 
I've actually done the underside, which on this view you can see, I've done the underside of the canopy, um, which now looks um, really, really good. I'm really pleased with that. Um, and that is just a matter of um, inspiration comes in many ways. And the inspiration for the bottom of this platform was actually um, was actually watching some videos on YouTube to do driver's eye views. And I've noticed that in the southern region, and I've been following a couple of um, drivers who film their journeys, and as they were trundling through the stations, the views, and I was, I was actually looking at what they would see in terms of platform furniture, the canopies, and a lot of canopies seem to have this kind of ribbon effect underneath. And so I've just recreated that and I just painted it all white um, and added the matchsticks in there. Um, and like I said, it's been a very enjoyable and a very simple canopy to build and um, I'd recommend anybody to have a go um, at doing that. Um, I still haven't painted the um, the railings, um, but I'll just, I'll just introduce you to something, so bear with me a minute. So in front of you is some Wilco's grey primer. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this one is, um, it actually says on the can, it's ideal for hobbies and creative crafting and things. But the reason for showing you this is, um, I'm going to be actually using that to spray paint the, um, all the railings all along the, this station platform. And the thing is, in itself, grey primer isn't that difficult to get hold of. But what I, the reason why I'm not showing you the Wilco version is the price. Now, I don't mind paying um, extra for my things if I can see that you can see the benefit from spending the extra. However, to me, um, a grey primer is a grey primer and I don't think anyone's really going to see or notice the difference between um, an £8 primer, which is what the going rate is for like half of the primer, I think it's seven ninety nine 99 or something as opposed to this Wilco primer and this particular one is only 395 and that is a huge huge saving on a can this size it's exactly the same size and it's a huge saving so if you're wondering um, how you can save yourself a bit of money here's a little money saving tip from the Queen of Lean and um, go, go to save go to Wilco's and get yourself a, a tin of grey primer and that will save you a lot more than buying say the Halfords equivalent or one of the other equivalents because um, that is really the standard going rate is about seven or eight pounds for a tin of primer which is absolutely huge especially when you think about how little you'll probably use on these on these railings you know to spend all that money just to do a small amount seems quite an expensive way of doing it so I'm always looking at trying to save a bit of money so there's a little tip for you um, so that's kind of where we're at with that um, we're going to go up here, I'm going to put some foliage up here, but I haven't done that. Um, also, if I spin you around quickly, um, I've ballasted the tunnel mouth. And I've also lined it as well. And that's something that has been bugging me for a long, long, long time. It's always been bugging me that when I've done my running videos, it just looked so unrealistic through here. Because all you could see was just the board behind, um, behind the tunnel mouth and that it wasn't. Um, ballasted so that's all been done as well also signal box cam has moved over here for now um, I wanted a, um, a webcam to monitor this particular point and this particular point is a freeway point and it's always well I find it difficult to get my head around the positioning of the blades and um, when I'm looking at it, I tend to look at it from here, because I'm standing from this point, and you just cannot see the, um, the freeway point. So basically, this webcam is, connect is, is connected, so it faces the freeway point. So when it's on my screen, I know exactly which way to throw the point um, in order to run the trains. So that's something else that I've been, I've been up to. And like I said, all of this stuff has been tested um, with the 50s, the 60s. Um, the issues that I had was just along here on this curve, if I just move the spray point over. It's so basically this corner here as the trains came around. It was just a bit too tight and they just scuffed it. But this has all been ironed out and sorted out now. 
but it's good to do it now um, so yes yeah, so that's pretty much the crux of everything that I've been up to I have been hoping to do a bit more but in all honesty um, I've been working really really hard non-stop for over a week now so I haven't really had the time to really get my hands on the layout as, as I would like to but um, progress is steady and as long as I can see something happening then um, then all is well but hopefully soon we'll get I keep saying we're going to put a running video up and we will do soon but overall I think I'm really pleased with the um, with the progress of what's been going on so thank you for watching feel free to comment and subscribe as always and I will speak to you all soon bye for now